first thing we need to do for the solution is to work out what the movement was. So you'll see we've got profit after tax here. The turnover, we budgeted that much. The actual was that much. So we asked to create the movement cells. And the way it's going to work is we're going to say equals that cell, the actual, minus the budget. Okay, so we can see that we budgeted 1.3 million. It was 1.1, so there was 200,000 less. I'm just going to copy and paste these to all of these. And just so that we don't overwrite the pretty borders, we paste it just at four, as formulas. So what you'll now see is we've got all these variances. Down here we've set it up for you, so you can see that what these are doing, that one is budgeted profit after tax, so we've typed that in. You'll see then we've gone and we've highlighted link to the ones we want first opening is zero, the closing, notice we've linked it to the cumulative movement, and this one, the first one is set up is what we want to achieve, and then at the various levels you'll see that's going to gross margin, people, so we've gone and captured each bit of movement. The closing then is just the cumulative impact, so that is taking that cell there, and this is adding up all of these cells because this is the way you need it set up for a waterfall chart. You can now highlight all of those, go insert, and if you've got an older version of Excel, we need to go use the open, high, low, close. When I click on it, you'll see it shows us this. We're going to just fix it up a little bit. So, first thing, get rid of that. Second thing, I don't want these labels here. So I'm going to tell it that the labels let's go low down so you'll see they're down here. Next thing I want to do is upward movements. I want to be green. So I'm going to make them green. Downward movements I want them to be red. And what we can now see is easily what we thought we would make, where we ended up. And we can see that it looks like our gross margin was one of the big things, and interest as well was a major hit. It's useful also just to go to the graphs page and just see the various graphs you can create for something like this where you're comparing budget versus forecast versus actual.